This is for fourth grade ELA text set 11, genre study poetry. I'm going to share with you some poems collected by Judas, Judas <coughs> Nicholas from the Barefoot Book of Earth Poems. The book is illustrated by Beth Cromes, an award-winning illustrator. So I want you to close your eyes and picture a part of nature that they love, that you guys love. It could be the sky, a tree, birds, or the sun rising. All right. And then I want you to um, describe some work, describe the um, images of nature that you were imagining. The poets in this collection also try to put into words what they love about nature. So these are the table of contents, and it just shows us everything that we're going to be reading for today, um, all the poems and the titles of it, and who, um, yeah. Okay. Induction. Introduction. What could be more beautiful than a blazing sunrise, a st star-filled sky, or a thick, leafy forest that stretches as far as the eye can see? How can we, as human beings, begin to represent these images of nature in a way that captures their magic and mystery? For centuries, poets and artists all around the world have struggled to do just this, to represent the sights and sounds of nature and the feelings that nature evokes in us. When strikes me about what strikes me about these poems is that each of the poets, in their various different ways, has somehow proceeded, succeeded in capturing some of these qualities on the page. All right, and then this, I'm not going to read all this, but this is what the author wrote. Behold, above, above, all birds and air, below, below, all earth's flowers. Inland, inland, all forest trees, seaward, seaward, all ocean fish, all ocean fish. Sing out and say again the refrain. Behold this lovely world. Mary Corrine Pouki. So what is this, um, what are you interpreting from this poem? Look. Look at the sunlight, shaking patterns through the trees. Look at the raindrops, cut quill, cool green and cassava leaves. Look at the bananas turning nice and fat and ripe. Look at the watermelon. How about a sweet mouth watering red slice? Grace Nichols. Mmm, kind of makes me want to have a watermelon. Father and I in the woods. Son, my father used to say, don't run, walk. My father used to say, don't talk, words. My father used to say, scare birds. So be it sky and brook and bird and tree by David McCord. The shy speechless sound, the shy speechless sound of a fruit falling from its tree and around it the silent music of the forest unbroken. Lark, he goes up like a yo-yo dipping and rising in the tremendous distance of the sky. You hear his song first, tumbling and escalated, bravely, bravely, and he manages to sing and fly. At the same moment, pockets of breath sustain him, a tiny weight on an invisible string that climbs till it is out of sight and only music remains, as if the air could sing. Jean Kenward For Forest Forest could keep secrets, forest could keep secrets, forest tune and every day to water sound and bird sound, forest letting her hair down to the teeming creeping of a forest sound ground. The forest don't broadcast her business, no forest come her business down, cover her business down from sky and fast eye sun and when night come and darkness wrap her like a gown, forest is a bad dream woman. Forest dreaming about mountain, and when earth was young, forest dreaming of the caress of gold, forest root sing with mysterious El Dorado. And when howler monkey wakes her up with howl, forest just stretch and stir to a new day of sound. But coming back to secrets, forest keep, could keep secrets, forest could keep secrets, and we must keep secret forest. Grace Nichols.
Everything's wet. Everything's wet in the woods today, hung with a silver chain. All night long came the slushing, slushing sound of calling, falling rain. I heard it, at, it as I went to sleep. I heard it when I fell into a dreamful nothingness, and when I woke as well. Jean Kenward Horse of the sea, I'll mount my ocean steed, and over the hills I'll speed. Forests and hills are not for me. I love the more moving sea. Winter ocean, many man scud to thumper, tub of male whales, maker of worn wood, sh shrubbing, shrub mat ruster, sky mocker, rave, portly pusher of waves, wind slave from stray birds. What language is thine, O sea, the language of eternal question? What language is thy answer, O sky, the language of eternal silence? River winding. Rain falling, what things do you do you grow? Snow melting, where do you go? Wind blowing, what trees do you know? River winding, where do you flow? Haiku. Rain drums on the pane and runs down, waving the world into a dream. Autumn wind, mountain's shadow, wavers. Is it a shower of rain? I thought as I listened from my bed. I just just awake, but I was falling as falling leaves which could not stand the wind. Such a moon the thief pauses to sing. Look at the cloud cat lapping there on high, with lightning tongue the moon milk from the sky. Weeping willow in my garden. My willows like a frozen hill of green waves when the wind is still, but when it blows the waves unfreeze and makes a waterfall of leaves. Winter. In the night came a white horse to visit. His hooves made no sound as he covered the ground, and snow filled the land with its spirit. The snow. It sifts with leaden sieves its powder all the wood. It fills with alabaster wool that wink the wrinkles of the road. It makes an even face of mountain and a plain, and broken forehead from the east and to the east again. It reaches to the fence that wraps its rail by rail till it is lost in fleeces. It, steal, it deals celestial veil to stump and stack and stem. A summer's empty room, acres of joints with harvest were, regardless but for them. It ruffles wrists of posts as ankles of a queen, then stills its artisans like ghosts denying they have been. Emily Dickinson Night sky, night sky floods my room. Oh, my heart pounds. The moon is now my own. I spun a star. I spun a star which gleamed and glittered in the night. I spun a star, stood watching spellbound from afar, until it disappeared from sight, a shimmering speck of silver light. I spun a star. John Foster. The song of the stars. We are the stars which sing. We sing with our light. We are the birds of fire. We fly across the heaven. Evening star, evening star, you bring back all that the bright dawn scattered. You bring back the sheep to the fold that wandered all day on the hillside. You bring back the goat, and you bring the child back home to its mother. The corn growing. Snow no longer snowing, wind ends its blowing. Every stream fresh flowing, a cockerel Loudly crowing, new grass blades slowly showing, a bullock deeply lowing, the chilly evenings going, and almost without knowing, the corn growing. Leonard Clark Riddle me day. It rolls over rock and never gets torn. It runs through the brush, untouched by the thorn. It falls into water but cannot sink down. It dives in the sea yet cannot drown. Fire Fire lives in the heart of a summer poppy, spills blood red from the rising sun. Fire winks its eye from the geranium, dreams of flame, all the long afternoon. Fire sleeps in the dark of a night rose, slumbers ash cold in the pale moonlight. The juggler of day, blazing in cold, gold and quenching in purple, leaping like leopards to the sky. Then at the feet of the old horizon, laying her spotted face to die. Stooping as low as the otter's windows, touching the roof and tinting the barn, kissing her bonnet to the meadow, and the juggler of day is gone. Emily Dickinson. Orders. Muffle the wind, silence the clock. Muzzle the mice, curve the small talk. Cure the hinge squawk. 
Banish the thunder, let me sit silent, let me wonder, I am clean. The sun in me, the sun is in me, pale morning flames, setting my still sleeping heart alight. The wind is in me, clear blue breath, leading my bare feet into a new day. The sea is in me, deep green waves, whispering wild music in my ears. The river is in me, dark brown water swirling in question, its questions around my head. The moon is in me, sad silver beams painting my dreams with shadows. Okay. How does the poems make you feel? What do you notice? Are there any words or phrases you especially liked? 